I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. I haven't for a very, very long time. I feel like anything significant enough in one's life should be started as soon as possible. One of my favorite saying is, why delay till tomorrow what can be done today? And so as a result, whenever New Year's comes around typically, while I do take stock of where I am and where I wanna be a year from now, for the last couple of years, I haven't made any sweeping resolutions, just the commitment to keep doing things well. Now, all that said, I cannot explain why, but something feels different this year. Uh, maybe it's the noticeable growth that I've experienced in different areas of my life as a husband, as a father, as a business guy, as an entrepreneur, as a musician. Uh, maybe it's a sense of indecisiveness with all of the opportunities I have available to me right now. And I'm fortunate enough that right now I have a lot of opportunities at my fingertips. None of them are without risk, but I, I do have a lot of things, options available to me. Or maybe it's the fact that I took some major risks in 2023 that have paid off and some of them I'm still waiting for them to pay off, to be honest. Uh, maybe it's just the fact that I'm getting older. I'm still in my 30s, by the way. Uh, but now I just have a deeper sense of the value and the fleetingness of time. Uh, maybe it's the fact that I'm reading the book, The 4-Hour Work Week, for the second time in one month. Uh, or maybe it's the fact that a couple of weeks ago, my six-year-old said to me, you're always working, data. Uh, maybe it's a combination of all of these different things. I don't really know. Um, but in this coming year, I have a very palpable desire to do things differently. It sounds cliche to say work smarter, not harder, but when you truly start applying this concept, you begin to see just how powerful this statement is. Um, I've worked hard for many years. I know how to pull the all-nighters and the all-days um, and the feverish race to always achieve more at the expense of enjoying time. Uh, in 2024, I know that hard work will still be required, but I am determined to work smarter. Uh, my primary goal this year is achieve more, but with less effort. I want to do more. I want to make more. I want to grow more. And I want to work less. More music, more YouTube videos, more money, all with more time to spare. Why? So that I can enjoy the days I've been given with the people I have been given. I want to learn how to truly enjoy time with my wife and my kids without my mind constantly being preoccupied with the next project or the next task. I want to continue to grow in my spiritual disciplines of prayer and reading the word and even fasting. And none of these can be accomplished without focusing my mind. See, I know how to hustle. I know how to work. I know how to grind. What I've forgotten over the past 10 plus years is how to rest in between the grind. And I hope and pray to change that in 2024. For example, you may be wondering where I am. I'm not in my typical setting. I'm fortunate enough to be in Costa Rica right now. And it was very important that I start the year this way with my family. I've been running on fumes for a very, very long time with very little break. Um, and it was just important to be here, take some time off, get a different environment. Um, and I've done all of the things. I've done the ATV, the hiking, the rainforest, only to end up um, on a beautiful white sandy shores, overlooking the Pacific, swimming in the ocean, seeing all types of monkeys. Um, but what has made this time most valuable is the time I've spent with my family. I've spent with my wife. I've spent with my kids. I was able to completely unplug from work um, for about a week. And then in the second week, I'm working remotely, but I'm working reduced hours. And what makes it really, really advantageous is that even when I was fully resting, one of my businesses was still in operation, right? Because I'm in the process of doing that very thing of achieving more, but working less. Uh, but it's not laziness. It's just setting up systems and processes that enable work to continue to go on even in my absence. And so um, I am committed this year to doing more, to achieving more, but working less. But not just so that I can just like vacation all the time, but so that I can redeem that time and invest that time in the most valuable things, namely time with my loved ones and time in my own spiritual health. And so I thank you so much for rocking with me all through 2023. Lord willing, I will have more insights for you to serve you better in the coming year. And um, I'll definitely bring you along the journey, let you know how I'm doing. Again, I anticipate there will be work for sure. I'm just more committed to doing it in a smarter way. So now I want you to tell me, what are you planning for or hoping for in 2024? Now, if you've been watching my channel, you'll notice that this video has far less editing than I typically do. Um, and again, that's just one of these things I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do more while the fancy edits are really, really nice and kind of like attention grabbing. 
Um, they do increase the workflow and make it that much harder to get these videos out. And so I'm experimenting with this format that has much less editing. It's much more direct. So you guys let me know, do you like this format? That's just really more like one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and doing it this way, I'll be able to get out more videos to you much quicker. So let me know in the comments if you like this style of video. Now, if you don't know who I am, if you're new to this channel, my name is Chope. I'm an Afrofusion recording artist and an entrepreneur. I make music and I have a couple of businesses and I've been doing my own thing for about a decade plus. And my mission with this channel is really to share everything that I'm learning as I go through my journey, both as a creative and both as an entrepreneur, business minded type individual. And so, and also just as a husband, father, like the whole gamut of life. And so if any of this uh, stuff sounds interesting to you, whether it's good Afrofusion music or just like insights into business, um, then please, you know what to do. Like, comment, share this with a friend, and also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you want to get these type of insights earlier than anybody else, then be sure to join my artist CEO newsletter. It's a weekly newsletter that I publish free of charge, and I share all these insights with that newsletter group first before it goes out into the world. And so if any of this is interesting to you, then please do all the things and um, I'll see you next time. Peace. I'll admit it. Yeah, I get it. You be holding me down for